Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Once again, it is I, Miranda. How are you guys doing today? I'm back with this video to um, speak about the well, this, 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 uh, first of all, I want to thank all of my subscribers, the new ones and the old ones. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Uh, uh, thank you for the likes, the comments and the shares and, you know, coming in and say hi to me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm back with this video because I wanted to get into how, you know, when you are moving forward, there are people who will try to hold you back, okay? People in your past who, who love the old you, you know? They, they, they so used to your uh, passiveness, your non-aggressiveness, your trustworthiness towards them. And wh what it is basically is when you're moving forward and you get older... And you start viewing things differently, you you become too good for the old ways of life. You're here to grow up and grow into something better. You're not supposed to just sit back and, you know, continue the same patterns. Because, I mean, anybody with common sense, they having the same issues, continuing the same patterns. Wouldn't it, I mean, when you start asking yourself questions as to why is this always happening or why is this always happening or what, you know, what is the, what is the problem? And like I said before, in some of my videos, like it ain't just is what it is. Like there is some kind of purpose, lesson, something to be gained behind your experiences. There's something to be learned out of your trials and tribulations. And you must understand that. You got to know that. Um, there's always something to be learned. Okay. Um, two, two, two on my timer. Uh, when they, you know, that's the reason why the most high allows us to go through certain things, you know, so that we can ask him questions. I don't remember. I don't know. But I remember I, in one of my videos, I did bring up the Cain and Abel a situation right where Kane Kane actually excuse me Kane actually you in the light you in the light Kane actually um Kane actually was upset Akko Kane was actually upset um and and jealous of his of of his brother because you know the most high favored what uh uh Abel had offered right and he didn't favor what Cain offered so instead of Cain you know stepping back and 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 just using his heart and not his emotions and uh narcissism because that's what Cain, Cain was a whole narcissist. Okay? Instead of instead of saying, you know, hey, you know, most high, what is it that you don't like about my offer? Like, what's going on? Like, you know, you have a conversation with the most high. He definitely will listen. He wants to have a conversation with you. He will, he will tell you why. Okay? He want to tell you why. Right? So... Instead of Cain saying, hey, you know, what's going on with this? You know, why are you being like this with me? Or whatever the case. And they, he giving, you know, God giving him an answer. He goes and murders his brother. The, what the heck? What? <laughs> why would, like, really, that's the first thing on your mind is to go kill him? Like, that, like, 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 God ain't gonna see this. God ain't gonna see that you murdered or hit your hit your brother over the head with a rock and killed him. You don't, you don't think? Why didn't you just ask him? You know, the Most High likes to have questions <laughs> brought to him. He likes he likes to have the questions brought to him so he can answer them. 
Just like you, you pray to him for things that you want. You can question, not what he do, but question him as to why something that's happening to you is happening to you. But you don't question what the most high do. Uh-uh, you can't. That's, that's what, let me, let, let's make this clear. <laughs> what you can't do is question what he do because everything he does is perfect. Period. Okay. Everything he does is perfect and it's for and with reason. Remember that. So what you what you when whenever you go to the most high and you want to have a conversation, ask him, why is this happening to me? To who I am, to the spirit that I am. You know who I am. You know what's go, what is the reason for it happening to me? This is what I'm trying to find out, right? And he will gladly give you an answer. <laughs> gladly. Gladly. You know, when you when you start asking the most high questions about, not about what he do, but why certain things happen, you are literally building a whole relationship, a friendship, a common ship. Not, not, not so common, but, you know, a, like you're bringing, you're, you're, you're building a relationship. You don't think the Most High and Lucifer have a relationship? They got a relationship. Okay? Because whether people know it or not, these demons out here that got y'all confused and ignorant and indignant and, you know, and, and putting you in unworthy spaces with the Most High. Do you understand and know <laughs> that the Lucifer literally has conversations? With the most high, because he has to. What do you think? What do you think he was doing with Noah? When he, not Noah, no, I'm sorry, y'all. With, with Job. He had to go and have a conversation with the most high about Job. He had a conversation with him. That's what he was doing. When he was asking him, well, you know, if you wasn't giving him this, that, and the other, they were conversating. You see what I'm saying? And he literally had to get the permission to do what he did to Job. And this is what he has to do for you, collector. The, the Satan literally, Lucifer, Satan literally has to go to the Most High and ask him, can I F them up? You know, he has to go and ask these questions. Meaning he has to go to the Most High humbly and with respect. You dig what I'm saying? And... Like, like all of us, we all have to do that. You know, you have to go to the most high humbly. Don't go in there thinking you finna rob, you, you, you finna go in there and talk about yah, 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 and he go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, he gonna, he gonna say, you can go back down third. <laughs> like, period. Like, but you go to the most high humbled. Humbled, Absolutely. With no intention to be, you know, get upset, but you just want answers to your questions as to why this happened or why this happened or what am I supposed to do with this or what am I supposed to do with that? It's real easy, y'all. 833 on my timer. 1456, and I'm 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 looking at the synchronicity. If I remove the one, you got four, five, and six. On my time, on my clock. Okay, yeah. Eight fifty-five on my timer. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, you know, and and you know, even 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 people that have um, even people that have like did the worst. Cain did the worst. The Lord still gifted him and actually gave him a nation. Gave him a nation. Canaanites. Gave him a nation to grow. Okay? Canaanites are them um them Africans and them them Liberians, them Lib Libyans and all of them. Them African, them real African Africans, the ones that worship demons. They, they literally worship demons. They literally do conjuring spells over there in Africa. Like, they literally do these things. 
Okay. And that is the nation of Canaan. That's that's Cain's, them Cain's people. He marked, the most high marked Cain. And they 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 say they say that uh uh the most high took Cain's melanin away. But I'm not so I, I don't I listen, I don't know. I I I I all I, I understand though is they saying that that was the mark. He took his melanin. He literally took his melanin and his melanin I mean, and I'm thinking maybe he marked him by turning him charcoal black cuz them Africans, honey, what? They they are extremely dark. In every way though. Spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, they are extremely dark. And they and there's listen, I don't I, it's, this is a whole nation I'm talking about. They're extremely like inadjustable hard-headed you can't you can't tell them anything they think they know everything and they hate they hate us <laughs> they hate us with a passion especially those african women but they spend they'll spend all their time looking like us but you can look in their eyes and tell them hey you can look in their eyes and tell and tell them you could never be us. You could never be of the the Abraham. Like you can never, you just could never. Because of your lineage, because of who your father is. Cain, Cain was literally, he literally murdered his brother out of, because he's a, he was a narcissist. He couldn't take the fact that he was jealous. 15 hours. 15. He was jealous. He was jealous of his own brother, his younger brother. And, you know, that goes on a lot out here where other people are jealous of other people. And then they jealous of him and they think it's okay. It's not. It's not. Because you could eventually mess around and suffer the same fates as Cain. Cain was marked, marked for, and but, but you know what? The Lord said, don't touch him, because if you touch him, I'm going to touch you. That was the blessing. He marked them, though, as to be pretty much hated. And everybody knew his secret. Everybody, he, he would confess anything and everything he's ever done to anybody he ever met. Which would pretty much blackball him. From everybody, because everybody be like, oh, what? You killed your brother because why? Why you just didn't ask the most high what the problem was? <laughs> if you have sense, you took it up on your, see, that's what it was. Cain took it up on himself, put the issue in his own hands, took, took the issue into his own hands. And he took the issue, he put the issue in his own hands and let Satan come in and influence him to do something dumb. And that's basically what happens in the world right now instead of you going to the most high and saying you know well let me pray about it or let me you know let me let me look into it or you know and see what the most high say see what the most high thing you know you take it up on yourself because you because because you of the world <laughs> and that's what those corporate peoples do they take it up on themselves to make decisions for everybody else and they end up doing something dumb now the world is ending i'm just saying <laughs> not to be not to be like laughing but like for real they took it up on themselves to what collect slaves they took it up on themselves to start wars for for uh resources come on they took it up on themselves to, to, to create an image of America that was not the real America. They did all of this stuff. They took it all up on themselves to worship deities and, 
and um and, and deities and in 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 spirits demonic spirits only because they didn't want to wait on the most high they took it up on themselves to do all this and they ended up all doing something dumb and they caused the whole world to go into a, 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 a just total chaos it's literally total chaos on this planet it's somebody dying right now somebody getting shot right now Somebody getting plotted on right now. Somebody getting set up to be killed right now. Every minute of the day, every second of the day, somebody dies, y'all. Every second of the day, somebody dies. And not by the, not, not by the, not, not by the hand of the most high necessarily. They're dying from, from karmacy. They're dying just because people want to take it up on themselves. I'm going to go shoot this nigga. You, you understand what I'm saying? People are literally killing other people because they're jealous of them. <laughs> jealous of them. The reason why Cain killed Abel. And because Cain killed Abel, everybody in the end of the world got it in their mind, like thinking like it's okay to do something like this. Sixteen thirty-six on my on my timer. Fifteen, you know. Okay, so it's just it's 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 a sad thing to see, and it's a sad thing to say, but. You, whenever, before you take anything upon in, into your own hands, for you to get real and true answers and not just go do something dumb, not let your knotted mind be influenced to do something stupid, you go 15 on 5 on my, on my clock. Go to the most high and ask him, why is this and why is that? He don't mind those questions. But you better go to the most high with a humble, with a humble demeanor. Don't get it twisted. He's still the most high and he's still the realest and he's still a straight G. <laughs> still. So don't get it twisted. Just go to him like, listen, <laughs> like, 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 go to him, like, you know, listen, go to him humbly and ask, you know, why, you know, why go to him humbly and sincerely. Don't, don't go to him just because you think you trying to use somebody or something. He going to see y'all right through you. I'm telling you, he can see right through you. So, you know, you better go to him with a humble demeanor. Go to him with, you know, with, with the intent of getting a real answer from him. Because he'll give it to you. He'll give it to you quick. You know. And don't take it up on yourself to just do stuff. Just go ask about it. Be humble and sincere. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. I love you guys for uh, everything that y'all do. 1844. Oh, my son, man. Tell you the signs of synchronicities are... Blah, blah, blah. Like they just coming back to back to back to back to back to back to back, y'all. Back to back. You know, I keep getting three, three, threes, three, 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 threes. Uh, man, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Literally, like, listen, <laughs> listen. I'm telling you, just, 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 just go to the most high. You know, whatever problem you having with a person. If you having an issue with a person, you don't like the fact or like the way somebody or a person has treated you. You go to the most high and ask them, why did this person treat me like this? Why did this person say this or say that about me? You don't go in no magic bag of tricks trying to. You ain't going to do nothing but bring yourself more trouble, more trouble, more drama. That's all you're going to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Yeah, I already said that before. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now. And 
I pray that those who do watch my videos have the sense to go to the Most High and have a conversation with Him instead of taking matters into your own hands without the knowledge of what may happen or what's gonna happen or what could happen or what will happen. Like you need to be, you need to be aware and careful. You need to be humble and sincere when you're talking to Him, and just, just you know. Understand and believe that the Most High got all the real answers, all the real, all of them, all any of them, any answer, any question you have, He got the real answer to it. Straight up. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video once again. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye, peace.